Porsches are a product of their environment. I think the Porsche was developed in Germany. In the early days, of course, it was in Austria. When you think back of the Grossglockner Pass and Katschbrick Pass, where they were always testing their cars. And then Stuttgart, you know what roads are like here in Stuttgart. They're really uh, nice, twisty and curvy roads. In the U.S., it's, it's a little bit different. California, in general, is very important for Porsche as a brand because we have a lot of customers there. It's the automotive hub of the world as far as where trends and everything starts. You just, you just go there and you automatically absorb that kind of culture and it comes out in your work. I first came to Germany in 1986 when I started with uh, Audi and then I came to Porsche in uh, 1989. Well, at the beginning of the Boxster's design development, there were other designers involved too and I was mostly focused on the show car. Normally, when you design a car, it's very kind of a analog thing with X, Y and uh, Z coordinates and you place them in space on a wall and you take templates off of that and the, those templates are given to the modeler and he holds it on the model and tries to fill up the clay to meet that line. And you end up with something that's, um, yeah, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, but then you have to get back in there and manually change things. And the car just, it just developed, it, like it, it blossomed out of this, out of this brown clay. It was a really uh, unforgettable experience back then. One of my favorite details is something that I wanted to do back then with the show car. Very typical Porsche, but something that nobody else thought of, and that was the central exhaust pipe. Now it all had a good reason, whether it's a four-cylinder or six-cylinder, going back in the 550s and the 718s, you had the two banks of the cylinders. It's perfectly symmetrical. They come back and they meet in the middle. It's a central exhaust pipe. It's the most efficient, most efficient way. But it's something different. It has a historical reference, and it just looked cool. What makes the Boxster so special is that it's come to be known as the car that saved Porsche. Yeah, the state of Porsche when uh, I first arrived was uh, actually very dire. Uh, there was nothing going on. And for a designer, it wasn't very interesting until we caught word that uh, they'll be getting a new development chief, which was Ulrich Bates, and he was bringing with him Harm Lagai from BMW Technik. And I knew, I knew there were going to be some changes. We were very motivated to turn the company around. Upon completion of the Boxster show car, right before Christmas of 1992, basically we had a really good feeling about it. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, for me personally, and I think with all the other people involved, there was, uh, there was a lot on your shoulders. You had the feeling that the success of this car will reflect on the success of the company. When it was first shown and unveiled, all those fears were completely dissolved. It was a complete surprise. Nobody expected Porsche to bring a car like that. Reflecting back 25 years, I did not expect the Boxster to carry on uh, this long as the, like a partner car to the 911, but it has. Uh, a lot of models have come and gone. I think the Boxster that is here to stay it was a really, really good feeling for me. I couldn't imagine sitting here saying this. 25 years ago.